Dr. Colwell is the former director of the National Science Foundation and has held many advisory positions in the US government, nonprofit science policy organizations, and private foundations, as well as the international scientific research community. She is the Gomery Research Board Chair, a nationally respected scientist and educator, and has co and has authored or co-authored 17 books. I might have to up to that to 18 now. There's a new one out. Um, and more than 750 scientific publications. She produced the award-winning film Invisible Seas and has served on editorial boards of numerous scientific journals. So thank you for joining us, Rita. Well, thank you, Danny and uh, Jonathan. That was a splendid um, review of um, Sea Grant. I think the most important part of Sea Grant is the fact that it translates science and trans it from the scientists to the community and I think that is really a critical part of, of um, science efforts especially today. I'd like to thank um, thank you uh, Pam for uh, your for hosting the event and for opening the um, session and uh, Danny uh, for organizing this really really great event. Garmi's had a wonderful partnership with all of the Gulf of Mexico Sea Grant programs and um, uh, we all thank them for leadership in the areas of outreach and communication. Really communicating what we do to the public is absolutely critical, especially in this time when uh, there's a kind of a hostility towards science, when science really, science, technology, mathematics provide a tremendous benefit to all of society. So I'm going to provide a, a very brief context in, in a brief history of the Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative. But first, if I could have the next slide. I think it's important that first and foremost, we recognize that those who perished in this terrible disaster gave their lives working for society and humanity. And I think we need to always remember that um, they did sacrifice their lives for the benefit of humankind. We have the next slide, please. About a month ago, or rather a month into the, uh, the spill, uh, BP made a commitment. This commit was, commitment was for $500 million to fund research over a 10 month period. And it was uh, to be focused on the Deepwater Horizon oil spill and the related events. This, this was a voluntary effort on the part of, of um, BP. It, it was unrelated to any cr criminal penalty and any natural resource damage assessment fines that they uh, obviously would pay later. So I was asked by BP's chief science officer, Ellen Williams, to uh, lead a board of prominent scientists and university administrators to guide the Gomery investment into the best available research. This literally began with a phone call. Ellen called me, uh, I knew her because uh, she was a member of the physics department of the University of Maryland and interestingly had just taken on the position uh, several months earlier as chief scientist of um, BP. So I guess she was really baptized immediately in her role as chief scientist. The direction that we were given from BP from Ellen was to operate under a clear mission statement and to fund science across five theme areas. Uh, the board began formal activities in late 2010. Basically, we had to build a program really from scratch. Uh, we formed uh, various committees to guide the decision making and boards were formed to cover ethics, outreach, proposal solicitation, proposal review, data management, and in other committees as we came up, including the very critical one I'll mention in my closing remarks, uh, synthesis and legacy. So we, we really had to build a management team to handle requests and uh, uh, review of proposals to, uh, may I have the next slide, to cover uh, contract development, implementation and fiscal oversight under uh, GOMA, Gulf of Mexico um, Alliance and the uh, Consortium for Ocean Leadership. We hired a chief science officer, Chuck Wilson. You'll hear from him shortly. 
um, absolutely splendid chief science officer. Now, BP outlined five specific areas where the research board was to encourage the best scientific research. Now, these areas have been the focus of our investment. Uh, the research board ran six open competitions. Uh, we also called um, for uh, proposals, individual proposals, soliciting proposals uh, from the same areas, but from uh, principal investigators. And there's always a scientist who can work best really on his or her own, as well as on a consortium. And so we solicited um, peer reviews from the uh, specific experts, all modeled after the NSF, and also the National Academy um, Rules of Conduct for Science, Technology, and Engineering. And so funding went to institutions across the Gulf, including Texas, very important component of, a, of the um, effort. You have the next slide. We're, we're now at the end of our program. It's hard to believe. First of all, it's hard for me to believe that it was 40 years ago that I was a Sea Grant director. And Jonathan mentioned that it's been 54 years. It seems like almost yesterday. And it's even harder to believe we're at the end of a 10-year program. But over the past 10 years, it's been incredible. Um, through the six highly competitive research RFPs, we awarded $420 million to scientists around the world with a focus on the Gulf of Mexico. Those investments led to a tremendous uptick in publications about available oil spill related science and uh, general science about the Gulf of Mexico. Um, I can't go into details, but here are a few metrics I think um, that are wonderful. First of all, you can see the direct increase from, from the beginning to the present. We're close to 1,600 publications, um, 5,432 science presentations, and actually more since the slide was made. Uh, and best of all, funded 1,204 graduate students, including about 600 PhDs, master's students, undergraduates, and high school students as well. So this has been a huge people effort that has been focused on improving, understanding the scientific arena of the Gulf of Mexico. We have the next slide. Now, we, um, we recognize 10 years later um, that the first question that we will be asked um, by any media representative or even leadership, um, 10 years, $500 million, and what have you learned? So we set about, uh, about three years ago, we started to synthesize, to put together, bring together all that we have learned about core areas. The, uh, you can see them here, the synthesis areas. Um, it reflects, the slide reflects a tremendous amount of information to digest, but the good news is that we're just about completing our efforts. In fact, I've just come from a uh, synthesis um, call uh, to, to, to this um, very important meeting. And we've boiled it all down into these nine areas. And we've already had about 30 publications and reports uh, from the synthesis efforts, and there's a whole lot more to follow. And CGRAMP will bring you the summaries of the syntheses over the next year or two. Um, the resulting synthesis products the nine areas, can be accessed directly from our website. The goal really is to document, exploit, transfer to the public arena, the scientific achievements, the advances that have been made over the past 10 years. And the idea is that synthesis, bringing all this information together, will lead to new understandings, new methods, new practices, and if there is will another spill, we'll be ready to go with a whole lot of experience that's brought together and made available um, for those who are going to be the first responders. We have the next slide, please. 
I also want to um, highlight another important resource that's based in Texas. The Hart Institute has been incredible. It's been led by Larry McKinney. Uh, it's been uh, organized for many years and it has developed an extremely important data archival system and it houses all of the Gomri's data um, in, to support transparency and to um, put science and education right in front of the community um, and to make sure it's available for the community at large, BP laid out a very progressive expectation that all data collected with the Gomery funding be made publicly available. And so we spent significant resources to make that happen. But to, we made it so that participation was not optional. Compliance has been terrific um, and all the data are preserved um, as a, um, uh, a consortium or principal investigator closes down and finishes the program. Um, the last bit of data goes into the, um, the Hard Institute research program of data management. And we have funded uh, for another 10 years, we funded forward the um, addition so of, of data that papers that are published, additional data that are being worked up now uh, as the programs in, in, um, in effect at the moment come to closure and then submit their data so that over the next 10 years, we'll see data trickling in, publications being added. The data are preserved. They're available through 2030. And we hope even further into the future um, I know that Larry McKinney thanks you for your partnership in this very, very important endeavor. And I certainly am very grateful. I should add that the data are not just submitted, but the data are submitted in a workable, accessible format. So try it out. May I have the next slide, please. Gomri spent a lot of funding to conduct a number of different activities targeting outreach. And this is where Sea Grant has shined. All these products are gonna be part of our legacy going forward. Um, we know that you're using them already. We hope that you'll use them in the future. The research consortia have uh, developed extensive websites. They include a variety of educational products. Uh, we're working on where they will continue into the future. We wanna make sure that they too will live into the future. We've produced three documentaries, Journey to Planet Earth, uh, and a number of associated podcasts from the documentary filming that will live in YouTube um, long after Gomery. And uh, we've made uh, media stars out of a lot of scientists in the Gulf, and I think that's a good thing. We organized and uh, were active in guiding the Gulf of Mexico oil spill and ecosystem sciences in, in the conferences, which uh, Laurie. Uh, Laura Bowie will tell you about next, and those two will continue. We engage the uh, Smithsonian's Museum of Natural History, the Ocean Portal, to highlight the relevant science findings, and um, they'll be preserved at their website well into the future. And again, as discoveries are made and publications come out, they'll be picked up by the uh, Smithsonian Portal. And the next slide, please. We've been particularly pleased, in fact, delighted with the outreach activities of Sea Grant. The program has been fantastic. It's made information available to communities, resource managers, local governments. Sea Grant has been amazing. It's produced a variety of brochures in response to public questioning, questions that have come up, and uh, webinars and seminars to educate the community about marine oil spills that will live within the sea ground network well into the future. As I mentioned, their final activities will be to convey the synthesis activities through the same outreach tools. And it's been amazing that as questions have come up, the sea ground has been there and ready to provide the information. Initially, we thought we'd have um, a bit of antagonism, of, uh, but sea ground reached out and there has been none, it's been very positive and delightfully so. Now the next slide, please. 
I'd like to bring to your attention the wonderful three-part documentary series, Dispatches from the Gulf. Uh, DVDs are available for free. I'm sure Danielle can provide that link. These will be available for streaming on either Amazon Prime, Netflix, or other by the end of the year. So Danny, make sure that um, any interested um, uh, requesters will get the, um, the documentaries. And as I said, we've made um, media heroes out of a number of scientists, men and women, students, faculty, participants uh, in the program. So last slide. I um, have to um, acknowledge the fantastic Dormary Research Board. Uh, Margaret Leinen, the director of Scripps, uh, is the assistant um, uh, a member of the um, Gomery board. Um, others are Debbie Beno bueno from uh, Nickel State University, Peter Brewer, who is at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute and um, is um, our, one of our major scientists, Dick Dodge from Nova Southeastern University, John Farrington. I call him the Ambassador Farrington. He's always there when you need him from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution with wise advice and comments. Ken Halanich, who's uh, right now uh, on a ship um, around, roaring around Antarctica. He's from Auburn University. David Halpern, uh, fantastic in our modeling and um, work from uh, data from the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Bill Hogarth, who's the ex expert in fish, I believe, in the United States, from the Florida Institute of Oceanography. Uh, Cecilie from uh, Maritzen from the Norwegian Institute for Water Research, and Ray, whom you'll hear about in a moment from Texas at Austin. Jurgen Rulkoder uh, uh, from um, the University of Oldenburg has been uh, a wonderful con contributor, particularly for the chemistry and physics of uh, oil spill. John Shepard, who has been leading along with um, uh, Dick, uh, the um, um, the synthesis and legacy work. John is from the University of Southampton in England. And then Bob Shipp, um, University of Southern, Southern Alabama. Uh, Bob has been terrific. Uh, Bert Singer from the University of Florida, uh, who has um, been fantastic in working in public health. And then sadly, in memoriam, Cyril Sumeya from Texas A&M passed away uh, during the program progression. And then Dennis Wiesenberg from the University of Southern Mississippi, um, very in, in, a significant contributor to our science programs. Dana Yeager from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, our deep sea uh, expert, uh, since he's done so many Alvin dives that uh, I think he knows more about Alvin than perhaps even the engineer. And then uh, I would like to um, Thank Mike Karen from the Gulf of Mexico Alliance and a great shout out for Chuck Wilson, whom everybody knows from the Gulf of Mexico Alliance and the chief science officer uh, from the, um, um, the um, uh, Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative.